And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And the pressure is all on Chelsea in the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. It is Bayern Munich taking on Chelsea. Thank you, Derek. Welcome, everybody. Well, Chelsea have it all to do after the first leg. You just wonder how they're going to respond. They lost by a big margin, not good enough in all departments. Need to apply pressure, need an early goal to try and get back into this tie. tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team high pressing well high pressing high energy i played this system at arsenal many a year under george graham it doesn't half work when it works well sometimes you can just get exposed to the back but they've got it down to a tee to be fair in goal, Kurtzuma plays with Antonio Rüdiger in central defence and Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield and they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage and they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final and Pavard on the ball Muda. This attack looks highly promising. Leon Goretzka. Thomas Muda. No nonsense clearance. Understandable that we might want to focus on Robert Lewandowski given his prowess in front of goal. What do you like about his play, Lee? I just love his position in the box. Every time the ball goes wide or in a crossing area, just watch his position and movement. He gets ahead of defenders, finds space in the box really easily. Top class centre forward. Getting forward, and William whips it in, foiling them effectively. Muda. This is Alaba. Alaba. This is Müller. Leon Goretzka. Ran it superbly to take back possession. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Referees like to manage the game just as much as players do, but today it is an early yellow card and we'll see what effect that has on the match. Well, it'll have a big effect, especially on the player, and also the defenders around that player that's been booked earlier in the game because they now know he's walking a tightrope. Really the ideal clearance. Gnabry with it. Boateng. Serge Gnabry. Lewandowski now. Do they mean business on this occasion? Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Serge Gnabry. This is Robert Lewandowski. Wonderfully weighted pass. Müller. 
Well clattered away. Tolisso, Muller. Individual quality coming to the fore. Can he deliver accurately? Tolisso just lacked accuracy. Aspili Quetta. N'Golo Conte. Jorginho. Here's Kovacic. Passing it around with aplomb. Kurt Zuma. Mateo Kovacic. On the ball, Aspili Quetta. Here's Kovacic. He went in so dangerously with that tackle. Now, the referee is the man everyone's looking at. So much has gone right for them in this game, but that wasn't part of the plan, a red card. Yeah, a bit of a blip, but they should have enough to see out the game. And a goal kick is the outcome. Tony So. Alfonso Davies. Tony So, Lewandowski. It is to be a throw in. Jorginho, Rudiger. It's really opening up positively for Chelsea. as though they meant business but now they've got to try again Muda Gnabry with it and the ball with Alfonso Davies Conte Good looking ball, there could be a chance now. Christian Pulisic has lost it. A bit of running room now on the wing. Here is Zuma. Defensive cover there on the flank, and he's made headway. William on his own with only the keeper to beat, and still he's missed it. Well, he had one thought power, he should have thought composure. Mateo Kovacic. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Couldn't keep the ball. And they could face difficulties here. Not giving him a moment's peace. This is Müller. He's lost it. And there it is, the half-time whistle.
they're underway in the second half of this Champions League semi-final second leg. Mount. The Chelsea move still flowing. Advantage to them. And having already received a yellow card, he's walking a very fine line. It was a big decision for the referee. A booking previously, but just a free kick this time. No second yellow. Well, he's got away with one there in my book. Routine, really. This is Alaba. This is Müller. Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. Coliseau. Pavard. Müller. Jorginho. Intense pressure. Sammy Abraham. Now William. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. I must say, they're not showing away from the risky defensive approach here, Lee. Only yellow on this occasion, but it could have been another red. Well, you've got to have composure. It doesn't matter what minute of the game it is, how many men you've got on the pitch. Compose yourself and do your job. in the grand scheme of things he's going to be terribly proud of that headed attempt well heading practice in training next week that was pretty average to be fair Pavar with it Lewandowski. Baba. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. minutes left for play in this match almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes well they've lost possession of the ball here is Suma and they keep the ball advantage Chelsea Muda given away by Bayern Munich. It's with William. Now, oh, this might pay dividends. A really top-notch piece of defending. So a... throw in to Chelsea very good use of advantage there by the official letting the play carry on and then only subsequently handing out the yellow card yeah absolutely and that's what the fans want they want to see the game going on they don't want to see it stopped for something like that you can always go back and book the player later now William 
Here's Pedro. Wonderful chance. And in by Pedro. It really is a true force of nature. As we can see, right place at the right time. Striker's instinct is to be there and thereabouts. Keeper has no chance. Chance to revisit the goal. inside the final 20 minutes of the game Chelsea throw in here it's a substitution for Bayern Mount Conte James Golo Conte, Pulisic, Mount, William, a very effective clearance, Conte, it's with William, and now William coming into it, blue is the colour, Chelsea have gone and scored, attack after attack, sooner or later you're going to score a goal. Well, let's see that one again. It's all about the contact. Does everything right. He's not bothered where the goal is. He knows where it is. He gets a beautiful strike on it. And the goal again, albeit from a different angle. of goals if you look at the aggregate 3-2 here Sané couldn't keep the ball and Golo Conte Pedro. Promising avenue of attack thanks to Pedro. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down, and he's very, very unlucky. Puissance. It's a great advantage to any side when you're as comfortable on the ball as they are. Good-looking sequence. Well, his opponent bamboozled. Read it superbly to take back possession. Conte. William. Crossing possibilities. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Relentless pressure, can they take advantage now? Pedro. It's with Giroud. And Pulisic has it. Now Conte. Boateng's block. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Leon Goretzka. And very deftly cut out. And it's Pedro making his way forward. Sometimes you forget the first leg of a semi-final is only half-time. They've got to do the work in the second leg. Although they've lost today, they've done the work over the two legs and gone through to the final. Can they pick the trophy up? Really looking forward to that. Can't wait for it.